ladies and gentlemen, tonight we're live at Newell Stadium in Gloucester, where the Gloucester Fishermen take on the Bears from Greater New Bedford Vocational Tech High School. Tonight's game is brought to you by Cape Ann Media Productions. Let Camp handle all of your business and industrial media needs. Give them a call at 978-879-3226. If you're interested in sponsoring high school sports coverage, call KPN Media Productions, 978-879-3226. So we're coming for the second round matchup here at Newell Stadium. The Gloucester Fisherman, the number eight seed, versus, I'm going to say, Lewis, we're going to on the Versus the Greater New Bedford Voke Tech High School. They're in the number nine. This ought to be a battle tonight here at Newell Stadium. Both teams coming in with their first round victories. We're in the state tournament, anything can happen. New Bedford with a nice long drive to get here. So we'll see how they come out. Hopefully they got here plenty early, got ready to play. The Fishman tonight started Max Berry in goal. P uh, let's see. Brendan Anderton's number three, number seven, Aiden Almeida, eight is you. Yunel Sanchez Batiste, number nine is Jean O. Tripoli. Captain Andrew Coelho is number 10, 11, Kaiki Barbosa. 12 is Jeremy Palicios. 14 is Keith Horn, and 25 is Leo Vitale. Looks like the fishermen are gonna get the ball to start with. Bedford with the cool yellow uniforms. We can't lose them tonight. For goal for New Bedford is Devin Sanchez. He's a senior. Be fisherman ball here on the throw, and Keith Horn takes the throws. We're here at the pitch at Newell Stadium. We're back with the internet. We're very excited. Fisherman football going away tomorrow. They're filling. Jim are going to be covering that. So it's a beautiful night here at Newell Stadium. Not much of a wind is a factor. Getting a little chilly, but it's November. New Bedford wins the head ball there. Now they control it in the middle. Go a little bit backwards. Go back to the D. Now they're gonna kick it up to the, looking for the wing. Gloucester heads it out. Gloucester back on defense is Jack Patton, the senior. Surrounded by two sophomores, Anaton and Vitale. Andrew Quelo, number 10, with his goal the other day, um, set the record for most goals scored in Gloucester. Here we got a break here, a nice defensive play. Going to knock it out of bounds, it's Patton. And had a couple of beautiful assists the other night, too, as he just used his speed and just blew by people. Oh, so this ref stands on the sideline and just waves his flag. I like that. He's the third ref. I was wondering how they do that. Date tournament the next round. They add him. So Gloucester ball. So we're KPN Live. we got Jim Capello outside on camera. I'm Lisa Olson. Happy to bring you this game. Hopefully some some of you are out there watching. This game will be on YouTube tomorrow. But you can be nice and cozy at home and catch GHS soccer action here. The beauty of the 21st century. Gloucester trying to mock up New Bedford with it. Nice crossing path stopped by the defense. You need Batiste with a nice play to knock it out. No. So we have two 40-minute halves here. Sperry looking for the wing. He's got it. That should be Tripoli. Going to see a fisherman ball. Let me, it might be Almeida throwing it in. He's going to give it back. New Bedford knocks it out. Gives, moves a, oh, no, that went off a fisherman player. 
Heads up play by New Bedford. His team feeling each other out here in the early going. New Bedford's got a couple of good scorers on their team also. So we'll see if this is going to be a defensive game and nice offensive game. So Fisherman racked up five the other day. Ooh, sweet move. We couldn't turn around, though. Goes back to New Bedford. It's seven Almeida's on my side. So Tripoli's on the far side. Keith Horn with the good play. That's Gino right there, number nine. Here comes the Fishman. Oh, pass out in front. Oh, they're going to call it offside. Do, do, do. Just a little ahead. Good idea. That was Tripoli with the nice pass. Just a little offside. Policio putting some pressure on. Jesus. Bedford will go back to the goalie. Sanchez boots it, shows his leg. Horn up to nice. Tripoli. Comes out to the wing. Ooh, nice play by New Bedford. Looking for help. Days lost the ball. So we have no score here. 34-56 to go in the first half. Both teams kind of still feeling each other out. Getting the cobwebs. We'll see something here. It's a nice throw in, but New Bedford heads it out. Glossa trying to keep it in. Bedford clears it up. Finds a man in the middle. Vitaly there with him. But here comes New Bedford with a nice play. Patton's there. He gets it to the middle to Quelo. Quelo hoping for speed up the sidelines. That's Kiki. Kiki Babosa. Streaking up there. Gloucester hoping to use some speed. Comes to Fisherman again. Nice move across. Pass. Oh, almost. Back. Shot. No good. New Bedford clears it. They hit that guy in the middle again. Tally putting pressure on him. New Bedford trying to clear it up. Now a nice boot. But it goes right to the fisherman. Oh, nice play there by Gloucester. That was uh, Tripoli. Here comes Elmina, number seven. He gets it in. Policios. Oh, nice play by the goalie. This shot, it's not going to be any. Going to go on the goalie. That was Tripoli. So he's okay. Went up hard in the air for that one. They're going all out tonight. Oh, there's a new Bedford play now. Sorry, I didn't see that. Train are going to come out. So it's 33.07 to go here in the first half. Let's hope he's okay. So we're here in second round matchup here. And Gloucester looking to make some history by winning tonight. Would be nice. They would make history if they won. The greater New Bedford. Vocational Tech High School is looking to stop that. You always travel this far. You always look. It's like he's just going to stretch that out. It's going to get a little help off the field. It's a long walk. But New Bedford's hoping to put a little crimp in the plans. We'll see. What happens is we have no score so far. It's tough. You hate to see anybody go down, especially in a big game like this. It's a defenseman.
good round of applause from the kids, the fans. Ref talking with the goalie. I'd like to find out what that information is. They could be talking about anything. They could be talking about a game that this guy did with them four years ago. I remember he was a freshman. So let's hope that we see the New Bedford player come back. Sanchez kicks it up in the air. 50-50 ball goes to New Bedford. You just got to turn it. Nope, here, Fishman take it back. Tripoli. Batiste is the other one, number eight. Here comes the throw in. Bedford looking for a shot on goal. 32-36. We have no score yet. New Bedford with a nice pass out. Patton kicks it away. That's going to go out of bounds. Be throwing for the Bears. Throwing by the Fishman. Nice throw. Looking for Blisios. It's going to go out of bounds. Good play by the Fishman. We'll get it right up. Moved up like 20 yards or so here. So coming forward. New Bedford pestering. Oh, that was a dangerous pass. New Bedford won that. Here they come streaking down the side. Ooh, tripped up. Nice dive. Back to New Bedford. Gloss got a piece of that. It's going to go out of bounds. New Bedford will throw it in. No, that ref's over the side too. They have the, where's the third ref? I see. Interesting. Let's see if we got the speed. New Bedford wins that. I'm sure I, uh, as far away as both cities are, I'm sure they got some information. There's so much on between social media, reading the newspapers to find out some information on both teams. Shot! Oh, score! New Bedford takes advantage of a gloss and miscue in the defensive end. Cameron Aguilar with the goal. Aguilar. So that's huge. It's New Bedford strikes first. Little defensive lap by the fishermen. That's all they needed. That's one to nothing. New Bedford, the visiting Bears, take advantage. As we said at the beginning, this is going to be anyone's game. Eight versus a nine. Either team could have been the home team. Oh, that's a push. Oh, they didn't call it. Comes New Bedford. They got Spock. That was their first attempt at a shot on net, and they found the white far corner. Sperry had no chance on that. Probably trying to clear it out. Really hard to see New Bedford's numbers. <laughs> they blend right in with those nice, cool shirts. So now's not the time to panic. Plenty of time. There's 29 minutes and 57 seconds to go here, just even in the first half. So it's a wake-up call for the fishermen. We'll see how they can respond. He's head by Sembert right to the. That's Almeida right to New Bedford. Patton clears that out. Up in the air, it's a loose ball. Bedford really spreading the field out nicely. Quick short passes. Horn breaks that one up. 
Here comes New Bedford again. Oh, beautiful pass. Nice job by the Fisherman defense. New Bedford with it again. It's a Fisherman. Quelo gets it blocked. Goes right back to Tripoli in the middle. New Bedford's there. Fishman trying to keep it in bounds, but it went off of them. The deflection. New Bedford ball. Throw in for the Bears. Stopped by Almeida. He's down on the ground. Aiden will take this kick. To down the sideline. Pass across. Goes right in off a of New Bedford play. Right to the goalie. Sanchez. It's going to get it up. Nice boot. All the way down to the 45. Right now, New Bedford's winning the 50-50 balls. Patton. It's it up back up to the 45. Good head by the Bears. Another one play. New Bedford just keeping it in, winning the 50-50. New Bedford ball. 27-25. The Fishman trailing one to nothing to the Bears. And a goal by... Cameron Aguia. Aguia. New Bedford trying to hit the wing. It goes a little too deep. It'll be Fisherman Ball on the side. Throw in. Waiting to get a ball. There we go. Sperry's got it. Never mind. It's a goal kick. Oh, because it went out through the end. Go for the wing. That's Kieke Barbosa. New Bedford. Soares got the goal. Comes to Fisherman, trying to pass across a little bit behind. Quelo, he tries to get it over there. New Bedford's there. They had five guys back on D. Patton, so the official on the first goal, Andrew Soares. Two people down there, and they blow the whistle. So here we go. It's a good opportunity for the fisherman right here. Kick is up. Headed up again. Another head right to the... New Bedford goalie, Sanchez, for the save. Good opportunity. New Bedford defended that nicely. Nice kick all the way back. Okay, Sperry will take this. Up in the middle. Headed out. Plesios a little, just a little missed, a little behind. Bedford still with it, looking in the middle. He's going to go back. Over to the wing, nice pass. Ooh. Tripoli, good try. Oh, here comes a break. But Anderton's there to clear it out. Tries to hit the wing, but instead New Bedford grabs it. It's 
It's going to go out of bounds. We're throwing New Bedford. 24-13 to go here in the first half. New Bedford up one to nothing. Pass right out in front. Booted away. I think that was Keiki. Throw in. Now it looks like a, uh, I'm sorry, it will be a uh, corner kick for New Bedford. The Bears with a corner. Glosser trying to mark up. Nice one. Sperry comes out. Grabs it. Max Sperry, senior try captain. It's a pass. Oh, we got a bounce. Policios shot way too high. Just missed. Nice hustle back by the defense. Jeremy tried to get that in. Just a little bit too far. Didn't quite get the kick he wanted. You know, the Bears see the speed between Plesios and Coelho. Goal kick, Sanchez. Nope, it's going to be defenseman. Go all the way back to Sperry. Gets it up in the middle, but a New Bedford player there. Looking for Tripoli. Too far. New Bedford with it. Nice pass. That was sweet. Another nice one. All the way back. Patton kicks it over the side. Do we have a whistle there? No, never mind. It's Anderson's side. Trying to do a touch pass. A little too far, but New Bedford knocks it out of bounds. Glossy doesn't waste any time. They throw it in. New Bedford knocks it out again. Bedford all over. Defense all over the Fisherman. I'm going to call a push right there. Nice play by Quelo using his body. Trying to hit that nice touch pass. New Bedford with good hustle. Clears it out. Lost in the corner, trying to keep it in. Trying to make a move. Oh. Shot, straight on. Not that hard of a shot, but a shot. Never can tell what can happen when you shoot. We got the eight and nine seeds here. Second round action, the MIA tourney. Thank goodness there's no school tomorrow for these poor kids won't get home till late. That's a push. Six o'clock start here at Newell Stadium. Game get over around eight. They'll get home 10, 30, 11. So it's a one to nothing game here. The first goal by Andrew Soares. At the 30-59 mark in the first half. So it's like nine minutes in. And really, their only shot on net. Fishman had a couple shots, but nothing hard yet. A couple head, head balls, a couple long shots. Sperry. Max taking his time. New Bedford winning the 50-50 balls here. Ooh. Bedford player there, Gloucester kicks it out. New Bedford, Bedford all over the field. 
That's going to be a corner kick for the Bears. I believe. Yep. We're under 20 to go here in the first half. Good crowd on a Wednesday night, Newell Stadium. Oh, nice shot. Costa heads it out. Nice pass, I'm so I'm saying. New Bedford with the shot. It's up. It's good. It's over the score. If it was a football kick, that would be good, but unfortunately, Suck went through the upright. Dropoli takes a break. Let's see. Is that Watt coming in? He's going to take the ball. Oh, 13. Charles King. New Bedford throws. So we have a one nothing game here with KPM Live. Jim Capella is outside in this nice fall evening. I'm Lisa Olson here bringing you the play by play. New Bedford with a quick goal. The 30, unofficially the 30-59 mark by Andrew Soares. So went far corner and beat Sperry. Sperry looking for the sideline. Should be Kiki over there. New Bedford's playing a great defensive shell after they scored that goal. Cross pass, but the goalie Sanchez is there. Sanchez boots it down. Three Horn. Keith Horn. In the middle, Quelo. Over to the wing. All the way back, but New Bedford's there. Here comes the Bears. Uh, they're going to get the throw. I believe New Bedford won the first game one to nothing, so they could be just maybe playing a defensive shell here for the rest of the game. Really marking up the Fishman pretty well. <laughs> I don't know what the guy said in front of me, but I don't think it was in English. Gotta love the diversity. Here we are in the middle, it's Fisherman. Oh, it's number seven, Almeida. We got taken away. Here comes the Bears. We'll pass up ahead. Shot. Score! New Bedford beats the defense once again. It's a two to nothing game here at Newell Stadium. Nick can't see the numbers over there, so it's like, I'm not quite sure. I can because the kid's going to come over here <laughs> to tell us he scored. <laughs> I love high school sports. Who was that, Nick? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I thought he said the first one was Suez, no? Oh, the sis was Suez. Okay. Never mind. So both goals have been by Cameron Agua. The sis was Suez on the first one. So that was Cameron Agua, who's a senior. And we're going to get a timeout by Coach Minot Minot Minotto. As New Bedford strike twice against the Fishmen. As we said in the early going. We said in the early going, the 8 and 9, you never can tell. Knew this was going to be a... Uh, Now we can tell who's going to come forward and do it right now. New Bedford's fired up. We're talking the uh, fired up. They're like wicked fired up. 
So two goals by the senior. Cameron Aguirre. Coach Minoto sending out one at a time. Let's go. That's how they got to get back. This is far from over. It's 15.58 to go. So there's plenty of time. They just got to stay composed, get in their game. But I tell you, New Bedford right now is playing great defense. They're really, really doing a nice job. Marking up the defense, taking away, marking up Gloucester's offense, taking away any long passes. Gloucester really has not had a, uh, uh, a good chance yet to score a goal. And that's part of New Bedford's plan here. Few fan, the fans from New Bedford, God bless them, that came all this way, making a lot of noise. This big conjugate, this big group from fishermen here too, starting to make that noise, try to pump up the kids. Next goal will be a big one. It's another break right here. Oh, nice defense. I think that was Fatale with a good stop right there. I love fans. Bedford looks like right now they got a pretty good game plan going on. Gloucester can't clear it out. New Bedford now over to the wing. Gonna give a crossing pass. Oh, Sperry goes down hard. He got pushed. It's gonna get up. He's okay. Both people went for the ball. Could New Bedford trying to head it in. Max going to make the save. So the next goal will be big, even though it's 14.33 to go. Fishman down to nothing. That next goal could be a deflator or cross the scores. It could get him right back in the game. Sperry up to Horn. Horn in the middle. Teast. New Bedford's there. Oh. Waited, should have come up. Taking that, not should have come up, should have went back. New Bedford's flying. Goes out of bounds. New Bedford throw. It's been all New Bedford here. The first 10 minutes were probably all fishermen. Or not 10 minutes because they scored a goal, but. Up until the goal, it was all Fishman, and then it's been all New Bedford since. Fishman had one chance, they were off sides. King looking for the middle. Almeida trying to get it. Now he does. It's Barbosa on the sideline. No, that's not. I'm sorry, that's Policios, 14. Tell you, we have the fact is you haven't seen Quelo really with anything. So really, here, oh, here comes New Bedford again. Shot, Sperry with the save. A couple of breakdowns by the defense. By the difference here. But New Bedford's soaring all over the ball. Here he comes. It's a guy we haven't heard from. He makes a pass, tries to feed it down, but just a little bit too far. And the goalie Sanchez comes out and makes a save. Devin Sanchez, he's a senior. Let's have a f bunch of seniors here on the roster. We'll see if we can get them any. Bunch of, what's one, two, three, four, five, seven. I have seven seniors, but a ton of juniors. So they've been here before, although last year nobody was here. Nice touch pass, but Horn heads it away, looking for King up the sideline. New Bedford goes out of bounds, It'll be Fisherman ball. 12 minutes to go here in the first half. The Fisherman trailing two to nothing. Get some subs back in. <coughs> Triple E back in.
Goes right to Gino. New Bedford's there. <coughs> Horn will take the throw. Keith's got his big fan club here, his grandfather, watching tonight's game. Nice to see Billy out here. Big Gloucester supporter of athletics all his life. Got to be strong. New Bedford ball. Grabbed him, but no call. New Bedford with the throw in. Good defense there by the Fishman. That was nice pass by New Bedford in the middle. Shot on net, but not a hard one. Sperry picks it up. But it was a shot on net. Quelo got two guys on him. They take it away. Oh, Tripoli with the steal. Trying to hit Quelo. Quelo gets taken down. We're gonna get a whistle. What's his name? Almeida's down too. Let's see, is this gonna be, will be a penalty kick? No, it's gonna be out wide. So we should have a direct kick right here. We're inside the 16 yard line. New Bedford's gonna send everybody in to play defense. So we're gonna move the ref, make sure the 10 yards apart. Quelo back, oh, right to the, Almeida right back, right to the goalie. Good idea. 9.05 to go here in the first half. New Bedford two, Fisherman zero. Two goals by the senior, Cameron Agua. The first one assisted by Andrew Soares. How about a card? I like what the refs are doing right now. He's talking to the kids. Let the kids play. So Jack Patton looking down for the wing. Bedford's been getting these 50-50s, but that was Almeida with the head. Well, there's New Bedford again. Nice pass up all the way back. Patton's gonna give it to Sperry. Barry's gonna boot it up the wing. In the middle, Batiste, nice pass. Trying to hit the middle, but they can't. Almeida and Batiste. Tripoli, I'm gonna call another push trip. So the ball will be right around there. This will be uh, in and Elmita to take it. You're giving him plenty of room. Gets it up in the air. Goes over one player. New Bedford kicks it out. Patton coming up. Quelo. Pass it over to the wing. New Bedford, nice hustle. Gets it out of bounds, but it's all right. Fishman throw. Loose ball in the Bedford's there. Quelo trying to settle the ball down. Now oh, he still has it. Passes out in front. Didn't quite cut. It was Almeida. Didn't go quite. I think it was Almeida. Or could have been Tripoli. Goalie kicks it out of bounds. 
As Tripoli tried to get it. Didn't get a good piece of it. Horn with a nice throw into Gino. Gino with the pass across. Nobody there for the fishermen. Coming up. Horn. Nice job by Keith. Could have been a handball there. I guess not. Mr. Menezes' gym class, I think that would have been a handball. Mr. Apple would have called it. Comes New Bedford. Right back down the field. 6.07 to go. Oh! Nobody spotted that kid. Nice hustle back by Vitale. Good job by Leo. Just under six minutes to go. The Bears up 2 nothing over the Fishermen. Here on Keep You Alive. I'm going to get another timeout. So let's see. We'll do a little. It's a good timeout. 5.36 to go. I wonder if they get timeout each half. Might as well use it. Set up a play right here for New Bedford. So Cameron Agua, Agia with two goals, one at the 30-54 and one at the 16-04 mark. The first one was assisted by um, Junior Andrew Source. We don't hope they assist on the other one. We're just getting help here from Athletic Director Soros. We're going to give him the assistant both. Ryan Mathia up here, very nice athletic director from New Bedford. Hey, that head varsity coach is Henry Almeida. The same spelling as Aiden. Got a lovely. Yeah, it is. Very cool. Maybe they're distantly related in the Portuguese fishing community. Portuguese family. They have the Nguisa down in New Bedford could be even better than the one up here in Gloucester. So many similarities between Gloucester Fisherman and New Bedford Bears. Both beautiful places to visit, that's for sure, right on the water. These kids, I bet half of these kids have never been to Gloucester before. So why would you come? Why would we go to Bed New Bedford when we have water here? And why would New Bedford come to us when they have the water down there? That water might be warmer, too. Probably is. Corner kick. Oh, out in front. Booted up in the air. Sperry cuts down any angle. So let's see if the Fishmen can get a goal here. They're down two to nothing. Be nice to score. Cut it in half. For half time. Horn. Keep trying to turn the corner, but New Bedford again. Oh, and here's a nice play there. Anderton boots it out of the way. That might have been Patton. Anderton with him. Let's see. Oh, it's been a 10. Crossing past. Kieki trying to hustle and keep it in. He does, but it's just right to New Bedford. This is still. I'm going to say he went out of bounds. Good try by the Fisherman. 4.23 to go till halftime. Fisherman trailing 2 nothing. New Bedford with it. Again, oh, shot. First kid should have taken it. Fisherman came out strong, but that's been all New Bedford since with two quick goals. The goal of the 30 uh, 59 mark and a 1604 ish mark. In the first half, we have 346 to go. Fishman trying to keep it hustling down the sideline. Bedford knocks it out. Good play. They know they're reading the clock, knowing there's only three minutes to go. Get that defense back. 
Let me tell you, the defense for New Bedford is really st stop the Fishman offense. Oh, there's a shot. Score! Gloucester. Oh, that was a mistake on New Bedford. Gloucester with the goal. That was uh, Andrew Quelo with the goal for the Fishman. We got the goal, it looks like, down for a little bit. And so it was just uh, time stop time because of the injury. Um, Quelo took advantage a little bit, bounce the right way, and Andrew Quelo, somebody who knows how to put it in the net, did just that. So he didn't get up on the play. So that goal is huge as it makes it two to one. 3.15 to go. Fisherman now with some momentum. Quelo again. New Bedford knocks it out of bounds. So the third goal I said was gonna be big and it was, luckily it was a fisherman with it. It's gonna go out of bounds. Should be a corner kick for the fisherman. Kick is low. New Bedford's there. Patton comes up. His shot is over the upright. Jack scored a nice goal the other day. That one just had a little bit too much lift in it. So big goal by Quelo to cut cut it in half. Nice kick by Sanchez, but head, headed nicely by the Fisherman. Palacios. Oh, nice pass. New Bedford there with the head to deflect it. Tripoli looking for Palacios in the middle. Nice play by Horn. Is that Horn to keep it in? Yep. Batiste in the middle. Palacios. Tripoli hits blocked. Fishman showing life here in the last two minutes. Oh, Palacios. Oh, nice play by. Another nice shot. New Bedford winning these 50 50s and blocking it. Horn. <laughs> Quelo, a little bit too far. Gonna go all the way to the wing to Barbosa. No, that's Barbosa. No, that's Plassi. It's way over on the side. Fishman putting on some pressure. But New Bedford's there to stop it. And they boot it all the way out. Vitaly's gonna hustle down, but Sperry's gonna be there. So we're under the two-minute mark. Probably under a minute by now. Fisherman showing, oh, some life, a little mishap there. New Bedford with the steal. Nice play by Vitali. In the middle, Quelo, he gets pushed. Horn trying to get it. Fisherman kicking up the sideline, looking for Tripoli. Gino with it. We got pushed. Gino with some open space. Hits the wing. Oh, they can't connect. Tough break. We gotta be close to halftime here as the clock, on field clock stops. But you gotta love the uh, Fishman coming back. It's gonna push. You gotta love the Fishman coming back and showing some life here. New Bedford not stopping. Oh. We'll play this one up in the end. That's going to be halftime here at Newell Stadium, Cape Ann Live. It is the New Bedford Bears 2, the Gloucester Fishman 1. We'll be back for second half action here on Cape Ann Live.
know what to do if you're stuck on the railroad crossing? Get out of your vehicle. If a train is not approaching, find the blue and white emergency notification system sign on the traffic signs at the crossing. For help, call the number on the sign and give them the crossing number so they know your location and can alert train traffic. Remember, find the blue and white to save your life. I was the lead gunner of the convoy that we had. While I was suppressing fire, I felt a flick on my upper bicep area. Right after my recovery, I had to find myself again and see what else I could do to continue my selfless service. Having an organization like the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes, putting me back into working with wounded troops helped me to process my injury. I'm Sergeant Mary Herrera and my alive date was November 8th, 2003. For more information, visit saluteheroes.org. Hey, we're back for second half action here on KBAN Live. I'm Lisa Olson, Jim Capello outside in the nice fall night here in Gloucester, Mass. It's the Gloucester Fisherman Trail in the New Bedford Bears, two to one here in the second round. The state tournament, New Bedford starts the ball the second half. Gloucester started in the first. New Bedford with their very cool yellow shirts. Hard to see their numbers. But we know that they've had two goals from Cameron Agua. First one assisted by Andrew Soares, the second one by Jose Suarez. Gloucester Fisherman with that goal at the 317 mark, which was huge, um, by Andrew Coelho, who New Bedford has done a great job bottling him up, as if they have Jeremy Palacio. Plassi so a great crowd here, and Veterans Day Eve, which is kind of cool because everybody, well, the school system has the day out tomorrow. A lot of people are working, which you, we shouldn't be. We should all be honoring our veterans tomorrow. Nice little ceremony. It's not the high school, it's at City Hall this year, so if you're up for something, nine in the morning, go do that. So we'll see what happens. A fisherman with the goal uh, at, at 317 mark, just like came out at all cylinders fired after that. Oh, nice pass. Nice defense by the Fishman. They're going to clear it out of bounds. That was a sweet pass. Bedford came to play. They scored the first two. One at the 30-59 mark. One at the 1604-ish mark. Glasses was at the 317 because the clock stopped. Could have been even 319. Clock stopped because the goalie got crushed on it. But he was okay. Goalie doing a great job. Uh, Devin Sanchez. Anderton. It's on our side this time. So is it Barbosa. We always like. I, I love it when they switch like the future field. So now we get to see Anderton up close and personal and Kiki Barbosa, number 11 right there, up close. That's Kiki, but he can't get it away. Oh, we're gonna get a whistle. Oh, pass in the middle to Palacios. Too far up for Tripoli. Tripoli trying. New Bedford, nice job. Good hustle. Tripoli was a lot bigger than the New Bedford defenseman, but he used his body position very well <coughs> to uh, box out Tripoli and then knocked it out of bounds. Not a good kick, but he's going to follow it up. New Bedford, though, is there for the 50-50 again, winning it. We're here at the pitch. Newell Stadium. Soccer action on a beautiful fall night here. New Bedford short, quick passes, and then they've had a couple of nice long ones that have set up goals beautifully. Now the quick play, they've really positioned themselves well. New Bedford spreading out the field. Kieke trying to make the steal.
lot. Um, New Bedford ball. So New Bedford has more students in their school, but because they're a vocational school, they that's why they're playing the fishermen. A lot of kids in the vocational department, just like uh, Essex Tech here, come junior year, they're getting into their field, so they're really not student athletes, so that's why the MIA does that. Yeah, Patton. That's Anderson. It's going to boot it out. The defense back for the fishermen. Anderson going to get a call for the push. So that'll be a direct kick from the Bears. Which my noto, you can hear it's such a nice fall crisp night. You can hear the coaches helping out the teammates. What are they doing? Well, let's go. Fans aren't too happy with that. <laughs> they said how much I love listening to fans. Quelo. Trying to hit the wing. Nobody there. New Bedford's going to kick it out and let the fishermen have a throw. So we're in the second half. The fishermen trailing 2-1. to one. They were the number 8 seed, New Bedford the ninth. So you knew it was going to be a tough game to going in. Gloss has got to create their offense. Got to create their own plays. New Bedford's had playing tough defense. And it said earlier that we hadn't mentioned Coilo's name, and then, of course, he scores the goal, but that's like the first time we mentioned him, so they've been bottling him up. They obviously have read the paper. So you, hear the, you can hear the New Bedford coach saying match up. Corner kick for the fisherman uh, throwing. in the air, a little too high maybe. New Bedford, gonna boot it out to the side. You can tell that's a good sign of junior, senior leadership there is instead of just kicking it on the sideline. They uh, booted up the side. So instead of a corner kick, the worst that would have happened is a throw in. It's another throw. That's going to go off of the fishermen. Big goalie kick for the Bears. <coughs> We're leading 2-1 to one here on Cape Ann Live. We're in the second half action. So two quick goals. The Bears, the visiting team. Sanchez kicks it up. New Bedford with a nice space in once again. All the way back for Tally. Glossa kicks it up. Palacios, can he control it? Jeremy, got two on him. Tries to get it back. KK, Jeremy, Flacios, trying to find some room. Now he's back to Almeida, but New Bedford takes it away. Just couldn't quite get it. New Bedford's defense. Nice play by Anderton. Brennan Anderton, the sophomore, him and Vitale, back between senior captain Jack Patton. Lost the balls, New Bedford went out. The throw in, they quickly go it in. Quelo looking far side. Go, 
Tripoli is there. Uh, that's Almeida. Let's see. Plus, they're just not using the, mixing up the, the too close, spacing out the field. There we go. Get a break there. It's a push. It's Almeida and Quelo together. Quelo will take it. Scissor kick right to the goalie. 31.50 to go. Still 2-1. to one. New Bedford. Defenseman kicks it up. Headed up by Horn. Batiste. And it's in. KK, and it's in. In the middle, Palacios, and New Bedford's there. He didn't hit. It's a difference so far. Vitaly hustling after it. Leo trying to keep it in. Nice pass up. Lost it, couldn't connect, but it was a good idea. Vitaly again. Leo hanging in there. Pass in the middle. See how quick New Bedford went right there. The gloss was there for the defense for Tally. Looking for Blasios. They got him bottled up. There were two people there. New Bedford slows it down. Nice head by Patton. Ooh. That's where you win the game. 50-50s like that from New Bedford. As they anticipate the play. Kaiki. Quelo, three people by him. Keiki Bobosa. Looking in the middle. Not quite sure with the other wing. Keiki's going to wait, try to get it down. Oh, he couldn't control it. Nice try. Good effort. Here comes New Bedford. The Bears in the middle. Patton there. Bedford gets it back. Pass up. But that was for Tally. Oh. Leo's going to boot it up. Nice play. Same thing. Not kicking it out. Keeping it in bounds. Heads up by the sophomore. New Bedford goes all the way back to that goalie Sanchez. Derek Devin Sanchez. He gets it up to the wing. So the last 30 minutes, one to 30 minutes, is going to be who's got the stamina here. This is where you get all those long workouts. Oh, nice defense by Anderton. The off of him, though, will be throwing, I believe, or for the f New Bedford. Maybe a corner. Hard to see. There he comes. Goes deep. New Bedford with it. Gloss is trying to stop the play over the way in the far corner. Going to stop and play. That should be a corner kick for New Bedford. 28-28 to go. Fisherman trailing by one. New Bedford in no hurry. They're going to set up. Nice kick. Sperry comes out of nowhere. Well, came out from the pile. Tries to get up to Barbosa. Almeida. Looking for the wing. Tripoli. Oh, just behind him. In front of him, I mean. Here comes New Bedford. New Bedford, the pass there. Anderton hustles up. Nice play. Great speed by Brendan Anderton to stop that one. Barbosa to Batiste. Okay. 
But New Bedford, eh, it's going to be fishing ball. I thought he's pointing the other way. So there's a chance here for the Gloucester fisherman. In the corner. Two people on him. And we get another throw. This time we'll go back to New Bedford. 26.55. Bears and New Bedford up 2-1. to one. Nice throw and a little head. And then New Bedford with it. Here comes New Bedford. They got a break. Sperry's going to come up. Oh! Almost waited a little bit too much. Good job by Max. Patton. Nice play by New Bedford. New Bedford's nice, keeping it nice control, spreading out little short passes. Sperry's going to come up and beat that one. Max with the boot. Fishman trying to get something going here. Patton. Nice play by Barbosa. Good hustle by Barbosa. He didn't touch it. The ball was stayed in bounds. Not quite sure about that call. Two to one, New Bedford Bears leading the Gloucester Fishermen. Two goals in the first half. By Christian Cameron Agua. Quelo trying to find some room. Almeida. New Bedford just spreading it out. Short. Quick passes, spacing the field very well. Gloss has still got to stay in control. They got plenty of time, 24 minutes to go. Going to be Gloss, the fisherman ball. So we're here in the second round action. New Bedford, a little bit too high. That would have been huge. Gloucester does not want a two gold deficit here. KK behind Quelo. Patton got taken down. Is that Patton or Anderson? Let's see. That was Jack in the middle. New Bedford, um, Glosser ball. So it's 23-20 to go in the game in regulation. Because we can do overtime now that we're in the state tournament. That's always a cool thing. Gloss has got to be tougher. They're putting the pressure on. They're putting hands. They're being physical. Gloss has got to be just a little bit more. Zalmita with it. Aiden trying to get a touch pass. Oh, headed. He had a chance right there. That's a beautiful pass by Aiden Almeida. He just couldn't head it in. Great opportunity there for the fisherman. So it went wide. That was Palacios. Yep. Good idea. All the way down, New Bedford. Oh, 
Nice play by KK Labosa. <coughs> nice play back by New Bedford to kick it away. For Coelho. Big corner for the Fisherman. Three, four, two Fishermen go over there. Lots of fans trying to stay warm as a pond of the bleachers here. So we'll see what we can get here from the corner kick. It's up, it's behind the Fisherman. A little too deep. There's Aiden Almeida with the corner. Just a little too deep. Throw-in. New Bedford to play down that ball. Two to one, the Bears up over the Fishermen. We're at the 2040 mark, 44 coming. So 20 minutes left to go here in this battle. New Bedford winning two to one. Yankee. This new Bedford's there. It's gonna go out of bounds. Anderton hustles it right in. Headed there, but there's nothing but the yellow shirts. In the middle. Patton. No Leo Vitale. Over to the wing behind Quelo. Uh, they're gonna be pushed on the fisherman. New Bedford doesn't waste any time. Gets it right up. Sharp shoot in the middle. Pass it up. Every time lots of goes, there's yellow shirts everywhere. Way up in the air. I see New Bedford hustling. Red shirt standing. Shot. Oh, Sperry. And he falls on it. That was a bullet. Sperry's down the ground. They're kind of, they're kind of yelling at the uh, New Bedford kid, but I think the New Bedford kid was. Well, no, they did give him a yellow card. I thought he was there trying to help Sperry. So he'll have to sit down for a minute or so until the next ball goes out of bounds. So that's what you get when you get an aggressive kid going, looking to score that third goal to put him up by two. Sperry, down the middle, the pitch, and it's just New Bedford there. Kind of clumped in instead of spreading out. Goes to Patton. But once again, just the yellow shirts there. Oh, take down. I saw that go. Nice play right to Patton. New Bedford with the winning every 50 50 here. That's been the key. It's gonna go out of bounds, Fisherman ball. We're at the 1820 mark. Fisherman are trailing by one. New Bedford with two first half goals. Fisherman cut it in half for the 320, 317 mark. But it's been all stalemate here as New Bedford's really playing some great defense. Not allowing Gloucester to get that long pass. Spreading out tremendous on offense. Gloss just has been frustrated. 
in any long plays. New Bedford with it. Good hustle by the defense for the Fisherman. You look every time, it's like this extra yellow shirts or something out there. It's inter interesting. Nice defense there by the Fisherman. Batiste trying to clear it out. Goes over to Anderton. Brendan in the middle. Once again, another 50-50, and New Bedford's there with it. Give and go. Got to come up. Oh. New Bedford ball, 16-45. Bedford up, 2-1. to one. So corner for... New Bedford, this is huge right now. Up in the air. Here comes a chance. Quelo. New Bedford gets it out of bounds. Batiste. Looking for Quelo. No Bedford again. Batiste again. He's going to give it up this time. <laughs> the fans, I'm sorry. Anderton looking for Quelo, who's trying to get Barbosa on the sideline. You can hear the people. Very cool. Got a player down. New Bedford player. The fishermen trying to stretch them out, I think they are. Gotta love that. <laughs> Keiki and the New Bedford player saying, he's giving hugs, saying thanks, nice job. That's where the sportsmanship comes in. So it's so please okay. 15.31 to go, New Bedford 2, Gloucester 1, both goals by Cameron Agua, the first one assisted by Andrew Soros, the second one by Jose Suarez. Gloucester goal by Andrew Quelo. Play is still down, he's sitting up. Gonna hobble off. We're gonna get a little bit of assistance. It's the second time a New Bedford player. I'm not sure if this is the same one. But it's like the poor thing gets hurt way over on this sideline. He's gotta walk way over there. So kind of nice little break in the action both teams uh really haven't subbed this much but this is what kind you expect you in a, in a tournament game like this you're going to go with your the best that you think so it's kind of you know it's larry when larry bird played you know he said i take my timeouts in between quarters Boy, the poor thing's walking off gingerly. Hate to see that, especially with a two-hour drive ahead of them, two-and-something-hour drive. So just going to go straight over. And the poor thing's got to go way back over there. Fans yelling at the ref like the ref's hearing him. Come on now. So this will be a throw in for the fisherman. <laughs> no heart. No heart they have. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, the clock is stopped, pal. So I don't know what this fan is yelling about because the stoppage clock stops on an injury. So here we go. It's a throw in, headed out by New Bedford, and New Bedford clears it out. Gonna go all the way back. Patton and Vitalia there. New Bedford with it. New Bedford still with it. Now it's over to the wing. Pass across. Doesn't quite make it. Fisherman knocked it out. So it'll be a corner for New Bedford. So New Bedford can just take that time on all these plays up two to one. They got an opportunity to put one in right here. Nice corner kick. Fishman trying to mark up. Low kick in. He's going to get it, come back out and try to get it. Gloucester, nice play defensively. Looking for the wing outside. It's going to go out of bounds. New Bedford throw. 14 05 to go in regulation. Gloss is still trailing 2 to 1. No score in this half. Gloss is hoping that New Bedford makes a mistake, but so far. They've been pretty solid. Nice takedown by Anderton. Good defensive play. So two to one, New Bedford. It's all scoring in the first half. It up. That's number nine in the middle. Tripoli. Looks like Policios might be taking a little break. Come back in for the last ten or so to use his speed. Quelo has been. He got the goal, but he's basically been stifled here. By New Bedford. Here's New Bedford. Got a chance. Pass over. Nice play by Vitali. New Bedford gets it back. Patton kicks it out. Tripoli hustling up. He's got it. Look for Quelo. Couldn't connect. Good job by New Bedford. All the way back to Patton. Uh, that's Horn. Sperry's going to come out and grab it. 12-15, New Bedford up, 2-1. to one. Quelo tries to hit the wing. New Bedford coming down the sideline. Gotta go out of bounds. Bedford ball. Come on, you got this <laughs> well, we're at 11.34 to go. Gloucester had some spark, and then it's been basically New Bedford playing tough defense. Spreading out their offense, short, quick passes. Gloucester hasn't been able to Ooh, that was a push. <laughs> the fans are into the game. We're just going to get close to get some life here in the last 11 minutes. And Bedford came in with a nice little game plan. Executing it very well. This is shot. It's going to go high over the crossbar. Little fishermen have 10:44 to tie it up. Either that or New Bedford will advance. Blow the 
whistle. So we're going to get this is a good time for a timeout. Oh my goodness. The clock is not up in the booth. The clock is kept on the field with the refs. So the parents need to check that out at some point. Anyhow, two to one, New Bedford. Um, two goals in the first half. One was at the 30 59 mark, the second at the 1604 mark, both by Cameron Agua. Agua. First assisted by Andrew Suarez, and the second one by Jose Suarez. And Gloucester goal was by Andrew Quaylo at the 317 mark. And basically been a stalemate here in the second half. Fishman really haven't had any chances, and I think you can thank that to New Bedford's defense, who's just been playing strong the whole game. They got the lead, and they kind of caved back in and not allowing any long passes by the Fishman. And it's paid off. They have the 2-1 lead. We have 10-28 unofficially. It's the official times kept on the field. So we'll see what Coach Amando Manoto can do here with Gloucester if they can fire them up. They've had some spurts, some moments. This is where it is. She's putting your season on the line right here. So the seniors, this would be the last go around, so it's not how they want to go out, I'm sure. And New Bedford has nothing to lose. They drove two hours to get here, over two hours. So, buckle up. This is going to be exciting. 10 minutes, 28 ish seconds to go. We lost the ball. The fans are into it, that's for sure. There we go, Aiden, up to the wing. I think that's Jeremy out that way. And it goes by, that will be a, oh, no, the same gloss to hit it. So we're at the 10 minute mark. New Bedford. Vocational Tech High School, Greater New Bedford. Vocational. Tech High School Bears, up two to one. Nice boot. Batiste with a nice head. It's Anderton. Gloss has got to toughen up here. It's Quayle, you know those arms are going strong. Nice play. Pass and cross, but New Bedford's there. Gonna go all the way back. Patton will kick it to Sperry. Sperry kicks it right back to Patton. Patton up the sideline to Barbosa. Barbosa, Quelo, Quelo, Anderton. That pass gets taken away. Patton, gonna go back to Sperry again. Sperry's gonna control right back to Jack. Up the sideline to Anderton. Brendan in the middle. Nice touch passes there. Barbosa, Anderton. In the middle, Batiste. New Bedford steals it. Patton. New Bedford's winning the 50-50s. That's been the difference, I think, here, in this, especially in the second half. Uh-oh. Oh, he missed that one. Boy, I bet he hopes he got, I hope he had that. You just can tell. It's a tough one. Luckily, that's a big break for Gloss. Let's see what they can take advantage of it. 8-11 to go. No whistle. <laughs> he doesn't have to call it. We've got a fisherman down, though, unfortunately. Like going all out. So 2-0. 2-1, uh, I'm sorry. Fishman down the far side. Far side, that would be... Let's 
Let's see what it is. Any idea what that is? Is it? I couldn't tell. Is it Palacios? Is he in? Yeah, Palacios. Yeah, it's Jeremy Palacios down. So he'll have to come out because the train came in. 8.04 to go unofficially in the game. As we said, the referees have the clock. So it'll be New Bedford ball. Bedford player trying to say sorry or whatever, give him encouragement. So we said we've seen some nice sportsmanship, both teams. Pass in the middle, Barbosa. Almeida. Oh, just behind him. Tough break. Patton comes up. That's where you don't want to. Patton hustled back. That's where you don't want to. So you're trying to get. You got to score, but you don't want to give up an easy one like that either. Nice play by Horn. Horn trying to get it up. Can't connect. It's going to be Gloucester ball. Seven minutes to go. Headed out by the fishman. This is where all those workouts in the summertime come in. What can they do? 6.42 to go. Goes down the sideline. Gloucester hustling. New Bedford trying to keep it in. They do. Gloucester takes it away. Trying to hit the wing. Too far. Oof. Nice kick by New Bedford. Kicks it out of bounds, but. No score here in the second half. Both teams have tightened up defensively. Fishman with a little break here. New Bedford there. Now New Bedford has some open space. A lot of yellow shirts. And it's in, it's gonna hustle. Oh, they're gonna call a trip. Are they not? <laughs> I don't know, I thought it was a trip. The parents are complaining, but. So the question is, it was outside, so it should just be a direct kick. And there's 5.30 to go and counting. So this is a big play right here, and as time's winding down, as they're taking the time getting there. Fisherman wanted trying to make a wall. Shot, straight in Sperry's gut. So let's see what the fisherman can do. Five and counting. Almeida in the middle. Goes to Sperry. So we're stopping at five minutes. The clock here. The unofficial clock was stopping at five minutes. Gloucester needs a break. Barbosa. Nice job by. Ooh. Headed out. Is that a corner? It looks like. Boy, he made a nice play, but it didn't get a nice boot out of it. I mean, a nice play, you know, nice, anyhow. Corner kick. Fans allowed. This is big right here, corner kick. See what we can do. The last time was a little bit too long. Kick is up. No, too far again. Oh, little pop in. Ball loose. Glossa, oh! Little high. I think that was Jack. Pat, no, what's it? So 
one maybe. Just a little high. So the fishermen with the steal, Quelo. They just can't catch that break. They can't get the. Here they go again. They're still going in. Oh, goes wide. Still got a couple minutes to go, but time's rolling. Let a boy get the ball in, because then you'd just be taking up more time. Three balls come in. You gotta love that. So the fishermen are running out of time here. We're gonna get a timeout. So two to one, New Bedford. We got a timeout in the field. It's New Bedford ball. I would say maybe two minutes to go. Gloss are playing tough, but they just can't penetrate this New Bedford defense. A great effort by both teams here tonight. It's New Bedford got on the board early and it's held off the Gloucester Fishermen. So see what if Gloss has anything left here in the last couple minutes of play. Two to one, New Bedford. We thank everybody that's watching tonight at home. Bring you this game on KPN Live. We love doing it. We love that you can stay home and watch, especially the grandparents uh, or anybody who just can't make it. We've had people from out of town, the relatives that and watching us on Cape Ann Live. We love that. We can bring you these high school games. And that's so exciting. This is a bond burner here. It's two to one. Your Bedford ball. Gloss is looking for a break somewhere. Nice boot. All the way back to the 45. Quelo with it. Quelo down the wing. Pass out in front. Oh, he had it. Oh. It went over. What a beautiful pass. And he missed the shot. Oh, man. Oh, how many times has he made them in his high school career? Wow. Policios just went off his foot the wrong way. Again, another great kick. Oh, it's kind of like ping pong with the two Gloucester players. Patent. Batiste is down, though. Anderton hustling for it, goes out of bounds. We oh, pushed him. Hello. It's going to go out of bounds, but they don't care. New Bedford just needs to stop the play. Patton, we're running out of time here. We don't know what the official time is. Quelo. Oh, I'm going to call him. Quelo's got to get it back. Don't want to argue, just want to go. Barbosa to Quelo. New Bedford, nice play. Throw in. We're running out of time. We have no idea how much time's left, but it's got to be quick. Out in front, New Bedford heads it away. Vitaly, oh, Vitaly gets crushed. And it goes all the way back, Sperry's way up. Sperry's gonna boot it back. It's like an empty netter. <laughs> Vitaly, in the middle, he's got Quelo. The wing. Man, this is exciting. You feel the tension out there. Now here comes offsides. Got to take it and go. Oh, New Bedford's there. It's very hustling after it. Gold kick. 
two to one, New Bedford. Sperry trying to find somebody. It's just yellow shirts there. That's all New Bedford needs to do. Nice play by Vitale. Trying to keep it in. Huh. Bedford doesn't in any rush. That's it. New Bedford with the win, the upset win. The number nine seed beat the number eight seed. The players on the bench come over. Oh, the ref's going after this player here. Tell him to get away from the fans. Yeah, not poor the Gloucester Fisherman all down at the ground. A tough one for the fishermen as they lose two to one for the seniors. Max Sperry, Jack Patton, Aiden Almeida, Andrew Quelo, Charles King, Keith Horn, Danny Hafey, who unfortunately was hurt the last half of the year, George King, Neville Clancy. A tough game for them as they end up their year. The great another great season, but New Bedford came and just got the breaks today. So for Jim Capello, I'm sure it was a little bit chilly outside, and I'm Lisa Olson. We love bringing you these games on KPN Live. I like the sportsmanship in New Bedford coming by, congratulating the fishermen. A great season for Gloucester High, and uh, we'll see you in the uh, fall, the winter sports season. Good night, everybody.